Hi guys, so I am back with a pretty large book haul. I have 23 books for you guys today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to read the backs of any of the books because there are a lot, so I'm just going to show you um, what books I got and where I got them from, and then if you see something that you like and you want like a more in-depth sort of review on it, leave a comment down below and I will do that for you guys. So we're going to get started. Um, the first book I have is from QBD, and it is um, Betrayed by PC and Kristen Cars, which is the second book in the House of Night novel, or series, sorry, and I'm actually currently reading this book. Um, I had Marked, which is the first one, um, I bought quite some time ago, and I finally picked it up and loved it, so I am now reading the second. Moving on to... Target. So I picked up three books, well there's more than three, but these particular three books were three for ten dollars. So I'm just going to get started. They're all vampire uh, vampire books. Actually most of these books I would say, uh, no not most of them, I lie. A lot of them are though, <laughs> vampire books. So the first one I got is The, uh, the Cold Kiss of Death by Suzanne McLeod and it just looks like this. And I believe this might be like the second or the third book in a series. So that's that one. The next one is Kiss of Crimson by Lara Adrian. And then the next one is Angel's Blood by Nalani Singh. And they're all vampire books like I said. Um, then I went and picked up Dark of the Moon by Susan Crenard. And these are all Target, by the way. Um, this is probably my most favourite book out of my whole haul. It was the um, second book in the White, uh, um, White Rabbit Chronicles, and it is Through the Zombie Glass by Gina Showalter. And I adore this cover, it is so beautiful. Um, then I picked up book two in the Morganville Vampires series and it's The Dead Girls Dance by Rachel Kane. and I still don't have book one yet I've got to find book one um, I have book two three and four so I've still got to buy you know the rest and this is the last book from Target it was A Vampire's Penance by Jennifer Armentrout moving on to books I got from Kmart um, this one is Grave Doubts and Heaven Sent, and it is two books from the Mediator Colour Arm um, series by Meg Cabot. And Meg Cabot is actually one of my um, favourite childhood authors, and I love her books. The next one is Silence, which is the third book in the Hush Hush series, and it's by Becca Fitzpatrick. And it's such a beautiful cover. This one is Boundless, and this is also the third book in um, what is it, the Unearthly series by Cynthia Hand, and that cover is beautiful. Then I picked up Poison Princess by Crosley Cole, and it's the uh, I never know how to pronounce this right, Arcana Chronicles or Arcana. I'm not sure, but look at that one there gorgeous cover as well. Um, the next one is Here Lies Bridget by Paige Harbison. This is quite a small book so it is a very quick read. I read this already and I read it in one night and I actually really really enjoyed this book. Um, and then the last one from Kmart is The Fledgling Handbook by PC Cast with Kim Donner or Don Don Donner, Donner? I don't know. But it is a part of the House of Night series. And I read this one as well, and I absolutely loved it. Moving on, the rest of the books I have to show you are actually from my local thrift store, and it is from RSPCA thrift store. So I picked up Undead and Unpopular by Mary Janice Davidson, also one of my favourite authors. And this is a part of a series, but because of the price I had to pick it up. It was only a dollar, so I was like, I don't even care if I don't have the rest of the series, I will get it. The next one I picked up is Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella, which is also one of my favourite authors. And I picked up 
Bergdorf Blondes by Plume Sykes. Um, probably uh, just butchered that name. It's that one. I picked up the Iron King from the um, Iron Face series by Julie Cag Kagawa. I'm really sorry if I butchered that name. But I've been meaning to get this book for ages and then I saw it at my thrift store and I was like, I have to get it. Um, I picked up It's a Kind of Magic by Carol Matthews. And it's a beautiful cover. Um, another one of my favourite authors. Um, and this book is Going Home by Harriet Evans. And this book I picked up um, mainly because I am familiar with this particular series. It is The Blood Feud by Alexandra Harvey. And I know that I have one of the books in this series, but I couldn't remember whether it was this book or another one because it is in my house somewhere I bought last year I think it was sometime so I picked it up anyway because of the price it was like two dollars so I couldn't not pick it up and then I figured if it is this book that I have I can just give this one to my sister so you know the next book is The Carrie Diaries by Candace Bushnell and this is actually a hardback which is amazing and the last book I have is one I simply picked up straight away because of the colour of the cover and then I read it and I was like this is actually not a bad book and it is Christmas Magic by Kathy Kelly and seeing it is coming up to Christmas I thought that this would be a good read for Christmas so I have two two books so far that I'm setting aside for Christmas so um, I'm gonna do a Christmas reads um, list as well a little bit closer to Christmas so yeah so that is my 23 books if um, you want like a more in-depth review of any of these books um, please leave a question down below and I will get back to you straight away and I'll do that one for you um, but yeah so I hope you like my video and I'll see you guys soon bye